I'm going to be apologizing for making a mistake for saying that if we don't pay tight, you might not make it to heaven. I'm sorry, that's wrong. That's not in the Bible. What the you guys, we are back again. Why that was God? Hey, wow! So this has been happening. So redeemed Christian uh, founder CEO Pastor E A Adeboy came to apologize. Hey, I was like, apologize. Apologize for what exactly? Apologize that he lied to you guys. <laughs> he lied to you that if you don't pay your tithe and offering, you might not make heaven. In fact, you will go to hell. I'm like, voila. Eh? <laughs> so, it has taken this man more than how many years to realize that he made a mistake. This man is 82 years. So is it a coincidence? Oh, <laughs> you guys help me, help me here because I'm going crazy. Because I was thinking that. So it actually took you more than 50, 60 years to come and apologize. And tell the people that that was not in the Bible. The same question that you people have been fighting, using scriptures to back it up, giving us reason why we should pay tithe, why we should pay offering, and why that if you don't that, you will not go to hell. Now you are coming to correct it after how many decades? Six, seven decades or six decades. Let me put it six, six or five because this man is 82. So definitely maybe he started preaching maybe at the age of 30 something years. So you've been preaching lies for all these years. And now when you are 82, it is when you come and apologize. Wow. Good job. Good job. But I was just wondering, who are those people clapping behind and say, yes, that um, he's a global man, that it takes humility for this so global, mighty man of God to come apologize. So now this is Mike Bamiloye speaking, trying to defend uh, Pastor Adeboy, saying that what daddy was saying is this. <laughs> and this is what brings me to the next point. So he said that it is people of the spirit that understand spiritual things that will understand what Pastor Adeboye means. Because what he means is that 10% is for beginners. As Christians who are spiritual, who are spiritual minded, very mindful, very demure of your spiritual <laughs> life, you should be thinking about 20%, 30%, 40%. I'm like, boom. This is clearly not an apology to me, the way I understand it to me. I think this is just a way to tell you that you should actually be paying more. We are tired of the 20, 20 10%. We want 20%. We want 30%. We want, in fact, we want everything. Because how would you come and apologize and now later turn into the corner? You know, when you're talking to us, talk to us directly. Stop cutting down. The, stop beating down the... Hey God, I'm even confused. Stop beating around the bushes. Get to the point. Listen to me. You know, it is possible to be right and wrong at the same time. I prove it to you. I mean, I'm a scientist, so I know that. For years, we taught that light travels in straight lines. Mm -hmm. Now, is that correct? At least those of you who know a little bit of physics will say, sure, the light doesn't bend. At corners, it goes straight. But later on, we discover it's not just what, not straight as a rod. Light travels in waves. Going in one direction, but in waves. 
It is wrong to limit you to 10%. At a time where some of you should be 20%, 30%, 40%, 10 should be for beginners. Giving should be violently. Violently. We want you guys to be paying 20%, 30%, 40%. <laughs> because guys, how would you come and apologize? Telling people that they shouldn't even, that whatever you've been saying for years, for more than five decades was wrong, mm -hmm. that it is not even in the Bible. And now, you now later tell us in the same video that we should be thinking of 10 Twenty percent, thirty percent, forty percent. But which which type of apology is this, guys? Maybe I'm the, maybe I'm the mad one here. Can someone clearly make me understand the meaning of this Pastor Adeboy's apology? Why did he come to say he is sorry that he has been lying to people all over the world for more than? Five, six decades he has been lying to you guys that if you don't pay your tithe and offering, you know, people will be giving their all. <laughs> Him that you are giving to all is having properties all over Nigeria and in the world. Flying first class private jets, you don't have one. <laughs> so how do you want to explain to me? How do you want to explain to me that you have to be giving people money and the people you are giving money now, they will pray to God to give you money. Wait, why don't they pray to God to bless you, them personally so that they can bless you? Why doesn't it have to be the other way around that? Some, you have to bring your money, say it, I pray for you, for God to give you more. So why don't you pray as a pastor to get more money so that you can bless the people? You can give them. Why is it always taking, 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 not giving? Hmm? Even you, even if they give, what they give is what the followers are giving. It's not their money. What they normally give is not their earned hand money. It's the money that people have been giving, tithe, offering gifts, because people have money to give to churches. I'm not saying you should not give, but you have to know why you are giving. And nobody should actually force you to give. And this is the mentality a lot of Africans have been having that if I don't pay my tithe, if I, you'll be having nightmares. Oh, I'll go to hell. I'll go. Your pastor has come to tell you that all this has been lying. So imagine you've been listening to this man for 30 years, 40 years. You've been giving your offering and tithe all in the name of fear for hell. And then one day he just wake up and say, oh, I'm sorry, guys. What I meant is that. <laughs> we made a mistake we made imagine we made a mistake for more than 50 years so that is not in the bible now let's go back to mark bamiloy who is trying to defend his daddy saying that eh, you know it's only people of the spirit that will understand what daddy is saying what daddy was saying is that 10 percent is for beginners as a spiritual Christian that is very mindful, very demure of the spiritual things, you should be thinking of 20, 30, 40 percent. Hey, God, I don't die. Ooh, let me talk like the Nigerian people. I am dead. Oh, how do the Yoruba say? Moku, moku. <laughs> hey, oh my goodness. It's the audacity. Hmm? Is the audacity that you will just, you know, you will not do anything. After all, the followers will believe him. They'll be, back, you know, clapping back behind the scenes. Yes, daddy, you said it. What surprised me is what this Mike Bamiloye said. Oh my God. And I, I, I knew how I used to watch his movies and films. And now I'm like, damn it. So you too, he said that. The fact that this man of God, Adeboye, came to apologize live, you know, to the whole world, that he's humble, and maybe God might have spoken to him in the secret. God must have spoken to him in the secret, and that's why he had to come 
and speak on public and apologize. So my question is, this God that spoke to Adeboye in public to come and apologize, why, did, why is he so slow? Why did he wait for his children to suffer? Fear of hell every day, every month. I have to give my 10% of my offering because if I don't do that, I'll go to hell. Why did that their God did not come all these years? Which kind of God would be watching his children to suffer? And you know why? That is why you should stop following people's God and find your own God. I'm glad, for me personally, this is my own experience, guys, and I'm not afraid to put it out there. I have found my path. I have found my own God. And I don't believe in those God that people come and tell you. Find it for yourself. <laughs> it could be anything. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me cut it there and see you in my next video. Bye for now. Thank you so much, guys. We are now at 3,000 subscribers. In fact, 3,000 plus. My new subscribers, welcome. And thank you so much, guys. See you in my next one. Ciao, ciao.